Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you can hear me okay. I'm going to do some things with the sound. Uh, I thought I'd get back on here and give this another shot and also read some healing prayers. I know you guys, um, you probably know about Kim Fisher's son, Skyler. I'd like to all go in agreement in prayer for him right now. He needs it. I don't know exactly what it is, but if it's any kind of symptom that's going around, it can't be good, and we gotta, we need to pray for each other. If you, I'm asking you guys if you could pray in agreement with me, and uh, that would be really great. There's so much going on. There's so much we could talk about. I'm just going to make a video here and just kind of talk about everything that's going on. But let's pray right now, okay? Let's pray for her family and her her beautiful son Skyler okay and you guys go in agreement with me and say amen and that's all it takes one prayer God hears every prayer that we have and we have that's the power the Holy Spirit we have okay Father God we come to you right now boldly before the throne and ask for a solid healing and prayer for our sister son Skyler and blessings and health and protection warmth your love and your comfort over her and her family right now and her beautiful son over her whole family we pray for peace healing send your healing angels with her right now father we believe in you we trust you and we thank you and we pray that you send your healing angels to her and anyone that is sick right now in the body of christ we we love you, Father Jehovah. We thank you so much. We thank you. We love you. And we praise you. You are worthy of a praise every single day. We ask you to heal, to heal the, our, your beautiful children in Christ, to give her comfort and joy, Father, and healing. Send your angels down to her and to little brother Skyler in Jesus mighty name we praise you amen <coughs> excuse me guys well, I just seen one of her posts and there's so many people getting sick I hate I'm just tired of sickness aren't you guys all this there's flooding going on earthquakes going on everything going on I mean, I just praise God that we're awake. We have our eyes open, but it's like our families are just getting attacked. My wife is literally in there right now, and her foot is swollen, and it's scaring the crap out of me. I'm not going to lie. It's scaring me. I I went and we went and got some uh, fish antibiotics, you know, because every the last time she went to the doctor here was horrible, was very bad. And uh, I did what another sister in Christ told me to do. And thank you, sister. I don't know if that was on uh, Brother Tom's page or this channel. But I put my hand on her feet, on her foot. It's just one foot that's bad. I said, Father God, I pray for healing right now. And my wife, I cast the sickness out. In, your, in Jesus' mighty name, amen. And it's the, just, it's the faith. It's the faith. But the next day, it was good. It looked like it was better. And then today, when we woke up, it was really bad. I mean, it looked worse. A lot of, a lot of stuff was coming out of it. And I just, I went and got, uh, oh, what is it, Bactrim. That's like one of the strongest ones, you know. And the, the hospitals here. I don't know, uh, Mosaic, if you guys, I live close to Missouri, I'm like right on the Kansas Elwood side, but uh, they're, the only thing I've seen good with Mosaic here, and I'm not bashing them, but they killed my, they didn't do good with any of my family, uh, especially my mom, but my dad's a firm believer, he, he doesn't want to go to the hospital and I don't blame him. I don't want to go to any of them if I don't have to, and I sure don't want my my wife to go. But it just seems like a lot of people are getting attacked, guys, and we got to come together. Our prayers are being heard. 
don't ever think your prayers are not being heard because they are. We always have the prayer. That's the best thing that we have. With the prayers with our faith is what carries everything. Um, here's some here's some healing scriptures right here. Isaiah 57, 18, 19. I have seen their ways, but I will heal them. I will guide them and restore comfort to Israel's mourners, creating praise on their lips. Peace, peace to those far and near, says the Lord, and I will heal them. That's beautiful. Psalm 103, 2-5. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgets all your sins and heals all your diseases? Who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion? Who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like eagles. We mount up on the rock of Jesus Christ every single day. And he renews our strength in the morning. We've got to keep praying for each other. We're one big, huge family. <coughs> Excuse me. Hosea 6.1 Come, let us return to the Lord. He has torn, He has torn us to pieces, but he will heal us. He has injured us, but he will bind up our wounds. Uh, you can tell that's the Old Testament. I would never say that God torn us up. <laughs> what I like to call when we go through like a, a, what is it, refiner's fire. That's when we get molded into the right. He's like uh, taking our broken pieces and putting them all together. Okay, well here's another one, guys. Isaiah 38, 16, 17. Lord, by such things people live, and my spirit finds life in them too. You restored me to health and let me live. Surely it was for my benefit that I suffer such anguish. In your love you kept me from the pit of destruction. You have put all my sins back behind your back. Praise you, Father God, for that. He took all of our sins, you guys, and put them far in the sea to where we still see him but he doesn't see him no more he sees us through the blood of Jesus Christ and we are saved healed ready to go and we're out there kicking it left and right sowing them seeds and that's what we're going to keep doing that's what I'm going to keep doing I'm going to keep praying for my brothers and sisters because they need us we all need each other right now all of us here's another one Jeremiah 33 6 I remember this one nevertheless I will bring health and healing to it I will heal my people and will let them enjoy abundant peace and security 1st Corinthians 10 13 no temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind and God is faithful he will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear but when you are tempted he will always also provide a way out so that you can endure it and boy have I known that to be true like every bad situation that we've been in there was always a way out and I know when we when it after it passes why didn't I go that way or why didn't I not do this or why didn't I go with that person to get away with that person let's see I got some more here Psalms 107 19-21 then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. He sent out his word and healed them. He rescued them from the grave. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. That's beautiful. We praise you, God, and we thank you so much. We don't deserve the free gift, but you gave us the free gift, and now we're just waiting. We're just waiting for you to take us home. We keep praying for our brothers and sisters. Exodus 15, 26 out of the Old Testament. He said, if you listen carefully to the Lord your God and do what is right in his eyes, if you pay attention to his commands, keep all his decrees, I will not bring on you any diseases I brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. Beautiful. 
Psalm 91, 15-16, He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Praise you, Father God. Praise you so much. James 5, 14, 15. It is anyone among you sick? Let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord and the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. If they have sinned, they will be forgiven. God's grace is beautiful. His grace, He loves you so much. He gave His only begotten Son that we will never perish but have eternal life just for believing, just for believing in Him. And now as brothers and sisters in Christ, we have to pray for each other, you guys, in these last hours. We are so close. You guys see all the signs. Oh, check this out. I said this in my last video. You guys probably couldn't hear me. I don't care. I'm just going to say it. If they take me down, they take me down on this channel. Obama. I don't know what he's behind, but it isn't good. And there is some kind of... There is a, a clock, I'll just say. And... Uh, like that what I showed you guys last night I put it on my channel for a little bit I told you Mark Allison check him out he's he's on I think he's on to something but uh, something about the 25th of Christmas being his graduation Obama's for something and he's you know I don't know the elites know the enemy knows they're not stupid. They know what's going on. The devil knows what's going on. He just doesn't know when the rapture is. And he's trying to make us bicker with each other, fight with each other, make us confused. Uh-uh, not me. I ain't doing it no more. I am not laying down no more. I'm not going to be not sober anymore. I've decided that a long time ago, but I'm putting my foot right where it is because I can feel the Holy Spirit in me crying out every time that I would slip up, you know, and I've got a, such a strong support system. My wife, you guys are my family, you know, even this channel, it's not a big one, but still, the shorter ones are the big ones too, because we got the Holy Spirit, and we're watching for our Lord Jesus Christ return, and He's going to take us home, guys, right when it gets real bad, right in that moment, He's going to take us home. And it's coming. He's coming. He's coming to grab us. I feel it. I feel the sorrow inside my heart for the lost so bad. And our prayers, our prayers are what is important right now. And our, our prayers and our faith and reading the Word, talking to each other, all that matters. I mean, there's so many great good watchmen and watchwomen out there, but they need us. They need our prayers right now. All of them do. I love you guys so much. And thank you for everything, for being here. We're all going to be together very soon. I can't wait to meet you all. Let's see, I think I got it. Here's, this This one's my favorite one. I, I, I got this on my bracelet. See right here, Isaiah 41.10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. That's where he's got us in his hand. He's not going to let us go. We're going to say a prayer right before we get off here. I ain't been on here too long, 14 minutes. Um, let's see. Revelations 21.4 He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the old or older of things has passed away. Praise you, Father Jehovah. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Holy Spirit. 